hotel for the weekend. It's not the Marriott, but it'll do. <laughs> That's cool. I showered me. Oh, yeah. Not bad. Ooh, and there's stuff inside here. Yeah. This is all prepaid for? <laughs> yeah. Oh, sweet. We got our own snacks. Supposedly. What's in there? Goodies. Nice. Hey guys, apologize for this lighting. It's not really the best, but welcome back to my channel. And I hope you guys enjoy this little weekend vlog. It's Andy and I's five year wedding anniversary, and we are in Connecticut this weekend because I was on Instagram and I found the cutest restaurant. It's called Kava. And they have the neatest like Halloween display. So I'm excited to go there for our anniversary dinner. They have like mostly Italian food. So I'm hoping that it's really good. So we decided, you know what, screw it. We didn't really have much planned because we're going to Florida in only a couple weeks. So we didn't really plan too, too much like stuff for our anniversary. So we just decided to do a one night getaway in Connecticut kind of spur of the moment and we're gonna check out that restaurant we spent a lot of today driving and we went to a really cute uh, cider brewery which was really good it's called the New England Cider Co um, and it was actually really good we got a flight um, a piece and a little charcuterie board I will throw in a couple of clips from that and we tried to go to this like apple festival that they have in like Southington, but the rain um, didn't really cooperate, so we didn't end up doing that. Um, just did a lot of driving, and then we could not wait to get to our hotel. And we got here, and apparently, like Hilton Corporate, um, like kind of forced them to let this like sports team that's here. Um, do a really late checkout and so none of the rooms were like flipped and turned over so that they could accept all of the 4 p.m. check-ins so we had to wait like an hour in the lobby so that was fun um, but they did give us a dessert voucher and a free glass of wine at the bar so I do plan on cashing in on that before we leave but we have a few hours to kill we're gonna get ready and then head to Kava for our anniversary dinner so I will definitely bring you guys along to that and yeah, that's all we really have planned, just a relaxing night away, and we'll be headed home tomorrow. So just a quick little trip. Um, but yeah, so that's what we have planned, and I will definitely bring you guys along. This weather is not cooperating today at all. And this is such a popular like wedding weekend. It did drizzle on our wedding day as well. But I just feel so bad for anyone that's getting married today in this nightmare of weather. But we're making the best of it. And I did pay for extra snacks. So Andy was really pleased when he found that. So we'll have some goodies for in the room tonight, which is exciting. And I also brought a bottle of champagne for us to have in the room and Oh my god, look at this cute sweater, the sweatshirt that I just bought at the paper store. It says spooky on it. I thought that was really cute for this time of year. But yeah, and I've also packed some snacks. Cheez-Its, of course. And we're really obsessed with these, like tomato basil wheat thins, so that's really good. Oh, and this is some beer that we got from that brewery we just were at. This pineapple, we haven't tried that yet, so we're excited to try it. The rest of them were really good. But yeah, we got some champs. So, just a little celebration champagne for our five year anniversary. So I'm gonna get that chilling in the fridge right now.
everybody we're at the hotel and i just finished doing my shower and blow drying out my hair it's about 8 30 in the morning we slept pretty good last night the beds of course aren't what we're used to at home but it was a decent sleep the hotel was nice um we're staying at the hilton garden um menden in wilford connecticut um but i'm just finishing up my makeup routine for those of you guys wondering um what exactly i use um it's bare minerals complexion rescue it's just a um tinted primer like basically or a tinted moisturizer and then i use this covergirl um and it is just a like under eye blend just so that my puffiness kind of goes away and i use this covergirl eyeshadow um nude um palette i'm like obsessed with this anyone that knows me has known that i've used this since i was like 16 and i'm sorry but i can't stop using it because i absolutely love it and i'm i usually use like all bare minerals makeup because i have really sensitive skin but i've been like veering off and like trying other things other than that covergirl like eyeshadow kit that i've used like forever but i've been using this since summer and it's the um physician's formula like um, bronzer and I actually really like it I do use the bare minerals bronzer but I do find that it's a little bit dark for like this time of year I'll use that in the summer but I happen to pick this up because I ran out of my other one and I wasn't near like an Ulta or Sephora to pick it up and I just picked this up at CVS and it does like add a nice like little sun kiss glow but you do have to put it on like gingerly so that you don't look orange this lighting is a little bit yellow so it's probably hard to really tell but i like it a lot so we're just finishing up getting ready for the day the restaurant last night was really good the italian food was like phenomenal i got this like um it's called like a penne alla vodka and i got chicken and then andy got like an oil vinegar type of well not vinegar but like an oil garlic I don't know what it was I think it was angel hair pasta but yeah and he really liked it and he got it with chicken and um, but we weren't like near any of the Halloween stuff which is kind of a bummer um, when I made the reservation I just assumed the whole restaurant was decorated like that but it wasn't it's was the rooftop so they were like well after you eat like you can go upstairs and like check it out we went up there it's actually like an open rooftop deck and it was pouring out and it was freezing they had like the sidewalls up so it wasn't too bad and they had these like heat lamps going but it was cold up there so i'm kind of grateful that we didn't end up sitting up there because i would have froze my ass off i did not bring a jacket um so i would have been miserable but it was actually really cool up there though they did an awesome job decorating if anyone's in this area um, Southington, Connecticut. I would definitely check out Kava. It was really, really good food. And apparently they do like a whole Christmas display as well. So that would be awesome to check out. I'm curious to see what that would look like. So I don't know. We may have to take a ride out here again, but it is about three hours from our house. So it was definitely a spur of the moment like splurge, but yeah, maybe one of these years we'll make it back out here and check out the Christmas display. But yeah, so we're just finishing up getting ready. We're gonna be heading out shortly, probably getting breakfast and then on the road home so that we can get some stuff done the rest of the day because I don't have this uh, holiday weekend off. Like I have to work on Monday. So I wanna finish up some stuff around the house and get ready for the week because I have work early tomorrow morning. But I will check in with you guys in a few. So I forgot to mention it earlier, but Andy hasn't been in the vlog in a while. Say hi, babe. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> what did you think of the restaurant last night? 
Oh, it was really good actually. Um, pasta was perfect, sauce was perfect. It wasn't too rich. The, the atmosphere was pretty cool. Like it was very, very well put together. It was actually fancier than I think both of us thought it was gonna be. <laughs> yeah, there, <clears throat> there were women walking in like in full blown like glitter like rhinestone like gowns and dresses and like feathery Definitely like high heels high end restaurant <laughs> we did not ex we did not expect that but there were some other people dressed like i mean we dressed i wore a nice shirt and like some you know boots and like dark wash jeans andy wore a nice shirt and dark wash jeans but we definitely could have dressed up a little bit more <laughs> we're at dunkin donuts could i have a large ice french vanilla milk only the medium sure. salted caramel medium cold brew. Medium salted caramel cold brew. Black. Black. Okay. And that'll be it. Thank you. Yep. We've only been together for how many years? You change your and coffee every three months. And he still doesn't know my order. Every three months she changes her <laughs> coffee. Don't let him lie to you. Don't let her lie to you. <laughs> it's sometimes it's pumpkin. Sometimes it's salted caramel. Sometimes it's uh, <laughs> hazelnut. Like no. <laughs> Don't, 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 I don't have, fall for it. Listen, I have like three staple coffees that I rotate like for the seasons, so. Yeah, now all of a sudden it's three. Hun. <laughs> I get the same coffee for the last 25 years. That's not true. You changed it up. You're doing pumpkin right now. And normally it's. I get pumpkin or French vanilla. French Those vanilla. are the only two coffees I've ever gotten my whole life. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I get pumpkin during the season and then I get French vanilla the rest of it. It's always the same coffee. <laughs> Highly recommend the Dunkin' app. And I'm not trying to get sponsored by them, but I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah, it this is worth segment is penny. not sponsored at all. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Midnight? Nope, that's not ours. What did you get? What did you have? Uh, large ice pumpkin and uh, um. Salted, Salted caramel, caramel cold, cold brew. How <laughs> was the lunch ice? Yep. How was? How was? Uh, it was a uh, pumpkin. <laughs> Can you tell me again? Sorry, I have to make. A large ice pumpkin. Pumpkin and the black. Soup. Okay. Yep. And a uh, uh, medium salted caramel cold brew. Yes. Yep. See, he gets it. All right. So, still, the app worth it only because of the perks. You get uh, points every time you order, and you can um, build them up to get free stuff. And where I am like a severe Dunkin' addict, <laughs> um, getting coffees. For, he admits it. For me and he Dev, admits it. At least every yeah. day during work and I, I <laughs> accumulate quite a few points let's put it that way yeah so like I got 3,500 points right now 3,600 points right now so I'm like pushing it yeah and again this is not sponsored <clears throat> but if you want to sponsor us Duncan we greatly that, appreciate it thank you have a good Sunday you too thanks <laughs> show them the goods oh and what else do you recommend Oh, you gotta get yourself a Yeti. <laughs> <laughs> For real. We have, I have one of these in every truck. When Dunkin' every Donuts vehicle. stopped using the styrofoam hot cups, like if you're from New England, you understand like the need of a hot cup because we drink iced coffee all year round. Like we are nuts and we don't drink hot coffee at all. So if you don't have a hot cup to like support your hand with that ice cold coffee in the winter, it was really depressing when they got rid of it. I'm not gonna lie. I know that it's great for the atmosphere and like the ozone layer, which it is good that we don't have styrofoam anymore at Dunkin', but thank goodness a large iced coffee fits in this Yeti. And I do believe the mediums <laughs> and the smalls do fit in the medium and small Yetis. I'm they, almost positive. They do. And it does make a total like major difference. So if you don't have yourself a Yeti for your Dunkin' Coffee, you better go get one. And yeah. that's also not sponsored. Yeah, get one for <laughs> I have one for every vehicle. I just picked this one up. This isn't a Yeti brand, but uh, or no, it isn't. Um, but um, I have Dual Tools, so <laughs> I had to I had to rep. You know what I'm saying? And um, 
Yeah, he's an avid DeWalt user. Yes, so. and uh, you gotta you gotta represent your brands. So, mm -hmm. um, but definitely highly recommended the app and the uh, Yeti. We're headed into Wendy's right now. We're gonna try Wendy's breakfast. So wish us luck. I'll let you guys know how it is. They have a pumpkin spice frosty. <laughs> so for those of you guys wondering, I don't know if Wendy's breakfast is all that it's cracked up to be, but we did want to give it a try. What did you think, hon? Uh, it wasn't bad. It was all right. I hope my stomach doesn't hurt later. <laughs> I'm leaving two hour ride home, so. Yep. <clears throat> but I just wanted to come on and thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little vlog that we put together for our five anniversary, five year anniversary, I should say. And it wasn't very much that I filmed, but I hope you guys enjoyed it anyways. And if you could like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.